All right, so uh, this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and as well uh, Capricorn Rising. Weekly general tarot readings for uh, October 5th to October 11th, 2020. Welcome to the channel, welcome to Radku Tarot. And uh, if you are interested in con contacting me um, in regards to a private reading or you want to take participation in uh, one of my tarot classes, all the information in regards to that you can find into the description down below. So with that being said, uh, let's uh, lay down the, uh, the spread and uh, see what you guys got for that upcoming week. Right, so... Uh, the first card for you uh, is going to be the two of wands uh, for what it seems that signifies in generally how the week is going to go through and the accompanied one is uh, the ten of pentacles so pretty much uh, this week uh, is going to uh, boast or uh, if that's the word that I should use or rather like I boost your sense of um, of security and I'll try to explain what I mean you are to feel more predisposed, if you will, um, to risk things or rather like to to take an actions and to do stuff that under normal circumstances you may be a bit shy or uh, a bit conservative into uh, doing a just quick example so I can convey my thought to you is that if you are shy to, to kind of like get into a conversation with somebody for one or another reason uh, this week, it does look like that you will be able to overcome that kind of a, uh, a feeling of shyness or a feeling of insecurity, feeling of uncertainty and etc, etc. On top of that, it will seem that you have, um, it seems that you also are going to feel like you do have what to give. Uh, if you will, to the world, if you will, to your relationship, if you will, to your career as well. For reason being it is that you will realize that you actually ha have made a quite a good progress uh, in one or another way, uh, in whichever field of your life those cards regards to, because the situations are going to be very unique for every single uh, Capricorn. But with those two cards, you are to realize that you have uh, much more resources, if I can say it that way, at your disposal, and you definitely can go and um, undertake kind of like uh, new endeavors if we may say it that way but as well your look is going to be uh, directed more toward how you can improve on your already current achievements if I may say it that way as well uh, so uh, I do believe that you are to uh, focus more on the things that means the most to you, to your marriage, your relationship, your career, and will invest even more in them so you can get a better result and better results are to come from them. Uh, the other card here, which uh, typically points to uh, what holds you back in this week and no surprise, we do have the hangman here, uh, which is to be accompanied with the knight of a sword. So those two cards uh, are saying that the uh, hesitation that you may have, where exactly you are to place your, uh, the, the word that just jump out of my head. Um, just give me a second here, guys. Um, okay, so the hesitation of where you are exactly to place your uh, investments, it's, it's what is going to hold you back. The more you second guess yourself, the more you overthink the situation in between you and your wife or a husband or, or a husband between uh, you and your boss or in between you and your project if you will the more time you're gonna lose it's as simple as that pretty much what those two cards are pointing is that important decisions had been already made okay and all the preparations are ready the more you wait the the, the less time you're gonna have after that uh, to kind of like accomplish the goal, finish the uh, finish the endeavor, and etc. etc. So that is a week where you actually need to jump uh, into action and do the best you can in regards to, like said again, your career and your relationship. Instead of 
hoping that things are going to happen on their own accord. Um, the next card that we do have uh, here is going to show up um, what helps you. And that is going to be the strength card uh, accompanied with the tree of wands that we do have. So with those two, uh, I don't know how to say the expression. I tried to say it one time in my, uh, in my live streams. And it didn't work out. It's a very specific for my country, and um, it's uh, it's what those cards are talking about. So it's like helping yourself, and the universe is gonna help you as well. Now those two cards here are pointing it's that you're gonna be quite aware how you are standing, and what your standings are in regards to career and in regards to relationship as well. And also, uh, you will be. Um, your impression and your expectations as well are going to be accurate. And um, you have to follow those expectations and those expression instead of being swayed from the collective toward other impressions and kind of like other goals. Um, I'll try to give you an example so I can get my, my points across here is that you have been aimed uh, a really nice guy, let's say, that you want to be with, but everybody tells you that he is either way too good for you or you are either way too good for him and he doesn't deserve you and etc. etc. You shouldn't follow the collective, but you should follow your own impression and your own goal if we may say it that way and also with those two cards the more discreet you are the better okay you should not shout out whatever plan you have you never you should not shout out as well whatever goal you have also you shouldn't brag about your progress it is what those couple of cards are pointing and uh also, they touch the aspect of perfection in a sense of that if you are patient enough, if you are a, a, a focused enough as well, the uh, results of your actions and the results of your endeavors as well um, will completely match your expectations. So you can have the things exactly the way you have them, the way you want to have them, I'm sorry. But all that those two cards are pointing is that you are truly sitting on a very well established patterns, very, very well established, established foundations as well. You have done your homework, you have made a very good plan, let's say, uh, you are aim at the right goal for yourself also, and all that it's, it's asked from you throughout this particular week, it is just to keep on going. Not, nothing more, nothing less than that. Because um, if you are feeling exhausted of doing so, uh, with those two cards uh, in that particular case, they do mean that you are having a, uh, in, a resources that you aren't investing into the, um, into the situation. And this is why you are feeling exhausting, because you are trying to do it way too hard rather than to do, to do it rather smart this time around and uh, the last card that we do have it is how the week is going to end for you so we do have the four of swords here um, accompanied with uh, the star card so the week for you capricorn ends in a rather very good position or you are to feel like you are in a very good position those two cards are, first of all they point that you, if you do aim to do so, you can resolve a bunch of issues, okay, uh, throughout the week itself. And at the end, you are to find yourself in a rather very peaceful state. On top of it, it seems that at the end of the week, you also are going to seek for um, understanding, if I may say it that way, understanding in the sense of someone that, or a, or a bunch of people, or kind of like allies that uh, are to support you and will help you with an, uh, with the uh, intellectual strength. So these are a people who can always give you a sound advice, and as well, these people are always being able to um, give you their accurate judgment instead of being swayed in one way or the other. At the end of the week, it is because results are going to be so good for you, you are going to start placing for yourself rather big standards and um, as well big criteria. And what was the word that I was searching for here? Uh, ideals, big ideals, right? 
Uh, these cards could speak a lot in regards to what kind of a situation you're in. So I'm going to talk about the most drastic ones. Now, those two cards could speak that your place at your work, it is assured and it will be long lasting. Or they could speak as well that if you are doubting in the love of somebody, well, you are to be assured that this love is true. OK, so it's very they could be very, very specific depending on what kind of a situation you are. But as we are doing general reading, general, it is how we go forward. But one is certain here it is that at the end of the week, you are to uh, end up in a very peaceful place, knowing that you have invested right and that these investments are going to have a long term return. Uh, so that being said, this was your weekly general tarot reading Capricorn. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.